Hi, as part of my series on how to optimize a game, both in performance and in file size, this time we're covering the Occluder Instance 3D and why you should or shouldn't use it to improve your game's performance in the good old game engine. So I've prepared a scene here, and this is the good old 4.2 demo. You want to go to Project, Project Settings, and search for Occlusion Culling, and you want to enable Use Occlusion Culling. Now you can close this down and hit the plus button and now we can search up Occluder and add Occluder Instance 3D to our scene. And now we have the Occluder Instance, this is giving us a warning and it's telling us that we need to bake it. So, so we hit bake and save. And now you will see our FPS went from 144 to 117. And that's because we have gizmos enabled, so if we turn off gizmos now, you'll see it goes up to 153. And the way occluder works is that it occludes things that are behind other things basically. So if I go inside of this car, you'll see things get occluded. Like this sign over here. To show it off what it actually does, we can go into the perspective. And we can turn the display to overdraw. And this way we see what's rendered. So if I go behind the car, you see it stops rendering the sign. And if we go outside of the building, it stops rendering everything inside of the building. And if we switch back to the normal view, we can see the FPS and just to make it more obvious. I'm gonna lower the settings. So on the inside, we're getting 2, 215 with occluder and without pretty much the same but where the big difference come from is when you go outside of the scene because the most heavy thing in the scene is the car and let's say this was a first person game you wouldn't be seeing the car all the time right it's going outside of the garage we can see the fps goes up and when enabling occluder instance it's, it will go up even more so from about 330 to close to 400 420 over 100 fps improvement and and the reason why it doesn't improve that much in this uh, room is because use cases for this may or may not improve your game's performance if it's a smaller scene like this one it's not going to improve as much but if it's a larger scene it, it can increase a lot so you'll have to try it out for your scene and see how you like it and with my test when i've used it even on small scenes I usually see around 10 to 20% improvement and these numbers are really good and I think everyone working on a 3D good old game should enable this feature if it gives you more frames because it's basically free frames. And if this was helpful consider subscribing and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.